I've never heard an Iron Maiden song in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to metal. The oldest dad metal kind of band in existence. Like, you haven't heard Run to the Hills? Oh, Me and British Beer, made in Chesh Cheshire, Cheshire, England. <laughs> uh, 4.7% ABV charged with flavor and does this artwork is this like from either their logo or um like an album this is actually uh from uh one of their songs called the trooper uh where they it, they were talking about uh people going into war so uh this is their mascot actually if you see that this is eddie people who listen to metal will know that eddie is their mascot that's been with them since day one wearing 10,000 different costumes and promoting whatever the theme of their albums are. But this is a beer I've heard of for a long while. Trooper beer has eluded my grasp for the longest time. But now it is... Get to have it on Beer Talk Radio! Yes! And definitely keep the can. Now I can sound more educated when, uh, when they talk about Eddie. I'll know... <laughs> I'll know who they I'll know what it's about now. I'll know what it's about. Okay. So this is a premium British beer, but let's see what it says on the can. Onward, onward, road the 600. The charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song Trooper, took place at the Battle of Baklava, and not to be confused with the Turkish dessert. Baklava, 1854. During the Crimean War, when 600 British cavalry courageously charged the massed Russian artillery, this gallant but foolhardy assault resulted in massive loss of life and came about due to a misunderstanding of an order given by the commandant Lord Raglan. Launched in 2013, Trooper, oh my God, this isn't new. This isn't new. Launched in 2013, Trooper is an award-winning premium premium British beer that has sold over 15 million pints world worldwide. Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson worked with the Robinsons to develop a beer which has true depth of character. Malt flavors and citric notes from a unique blend of Bobek, Goldings, and Cascade hops dominate this deep, deep golden ale with a subtle hint of lemon. Ooh. So we got something in the middle. We got a lemon English ale. Like, I know. So that's okay. That's going to ease us out of our Mexican lager um, Dia de los Deftones that we just had. Okay. Good. Okay. Nice how it has a little uh, history lesson there, though, for you, too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I swear Bruce Dickinson is is goals. He's 70. He he flies uh the band around. He's a licensed pilot. Nice. He the, he beat so cancer. He's he's just one of those role models in the metal community that you don't come across too often. That color is so Copper, gold, it's so beautiful. Yeah, caramel. It's even darker than copper. It's even, I can speak, it's even darker than copper. Good job. It was a, just a very nice, dark, golden it's, caramel. It's, uh, like, it's borderline. It's, it smells delicious. I can't wait to taste this. It doesn't smell like it's going to be too bitter, though. Smells like it just has that nice little hint, that little kick of a little bit of lemon. It does smell a little more lemony than the last one. Like, I'm looking forward to it. But like natural lemon. Yeah, a little bit more kind of zingy. Well, let's zing to the trooper. Cheers. Skull. Oh my God. The lemon starts off, like you can, you can taste the lemon in the beginning, but it really finishes with the lemon, but so gently, not 
tart at all. And um, I am getting a little bit of hop through. I would say this is probably like 20, 30 IBU, very lightly. Very light, very smooth, very easy to sip. It's, it's a great little session, little session if you want a couple in the morning, like staying in for the day. I could have a few of these be able to do stuff in the later hours but very very easy going that lemon is sticking with you for for the ride but just ever so lightly yeah. it's it's not killing the entire flavor but very light hot hop hop presence I'd say this is one of the more near perfect beers I think I've ever had in my life like I'm gonna go that far to say this this is absolutely delicious. This is better than I even remember tasting it the first time, I think. But I didn't appreciate it then. I appreciate it now. This is really, really a superior um, body and mouthfeel. It's, it's not heavy. It's like a nice medium, like meaty. It just coats your tongue, but it's not overwhelming. And when you, And there's no aftertaste to it either. Like a lot of beers, like they try to get all that creative with all the this flavoring, like they'll m miss shoot it and like you'll end up tasting it like three beers afterward. Right. But right. this, you just get that nice little little shot in there, and it's it's just a very smooth, nice, nice. Um, this is a nice bourbon after work. Like that's the that's the emotional experience that I'm having with drinking this right now. Ooh, like yes, okay, I'm cool. Yeah, I can relax now. <laughs> exactly. Don't bother me. I'm in my chair. <laughs>